liberal viewer present. So, even though I have a pretty good memory, I've always had a bad memory for names, particularly non-English names. And this memory gap used to cause me a lot of problems when I was a public defender because even though I could usually remember all the details of my clients' cases, I would often blank out on their names. This week, however, with the Virginia Tech shootings, I'm kind of glad I haven't been able to immediately memorize the full name of this Cho guy who reportedly did the shootings. Instead, I'm putting my name memorization efforts into learning this name, Liviu Labrescu. Liviu Labrescu was a 76-year-old aeronautics professor who reacted to the shooting at Virginia Tech by blocking the door to his classroom with his body so his students could escape out the windows. Though he has not gotten nearly as much coverage as the reported shooter, I was happy to see some coverage of Labrescu's actions like this analysis from Dennis Miller appearing on the April 18th edition of The O'Reilly Factor. I think Labrescu, a 76-year-old Holocaust survivor, who if you do the math was probably 12 when he first saw the face of evil, I'm sure looked up at that narrow window in that door and saw the same sick glint that dead shark thing in that eye that he had seen as a young man, and he went towards it to stop it. Now, Miller's observation about Labrescu's Holocaust experiences, along with the coincidence of his being killed at the end of Holocaust Remembrance Day, all lead me to ask, do you think it was Professor Labrescu's experiences in the Holocaust that led him to conclude that when evil things happen, you cannot wait for others to act? And on the media analysis question, Shouldn't the media spend a lot more time glorifying the actions of Professor Liviu Labrescu and a lot less time glorifying the words and pictures of the reported shooter? I YouTube, you decide.